The AJ Fernandez, Last Call in Habano. Hey everyone, welcome back to Vecto Reviews. Today we are taking a look at The Last Call in Habano by AJ Fernandez. We already did the Maduro version. That one was exceptional. Very good. Um, so now we're going to give this one a shot. It's a nice scorching hot 12 degrees outside. <laughs> so my fingers are probably going to go numb here soon. Honestly, I'm not getting any scent off of this. And it might just be because it's cold outside too. Um, pretty dense pack. A little bit spongier up towards the foot. It is a closed foot. That's kind of cool. Uh, the option with the closed foot, you can light that right away and get that wrapper flavor, or you can toast it like I always do, and probably will with this one as well. So, yeah, I'm not getting any smell off of this one. But, all right, let's go ahead and chop this up and get it lit. Wow, right away, mm. really heavy, sweet, almost dessert-like earth type flavors. That's just more of a, ooh, almost like a hazelnut and vanilla and a milk chocolate coming through on the finish. Very nice flavors. All right, let's go on ahead and get into it and see how this thing is uh, going to transition for us. All right. Uh, 15 minutes in. Getting to be about the halfway point. The flavors are still sweet. Medium bodied now. Uh, the earthiness is still there. It's still got that sweetness, but it's a light sweetness. It's like it's like a, it's like an airy sweetness to it, and it mixes in with almost like a little bit of a cinnamon and a little bit of a caramel vanilla type flavor as well. And then coming to the finish, you get a little hint of chocolate still coming in. It's fleeting, but it's still there on the finish. So very enjoyable so far. Let's get on down to the band point or past the band point. See how it transitions. All right, about 30 minutes in now. Starting to get a little warm on me and the flavors are starting to wash out a little bit. So at about the 20 minute mark, a leather started to come into the palate and the earthiness died down. Now within about the past couple minutes, that leather started to fade and a toasted nuttiness is starting to reintroduce itself back into the uh, flavor profile. It was a little bit there off the draw with the other mix of the flavors, a little bit. Now it's definitely the forefront flavor. And uh, now it's just starting to slowly wash out little bit by little bit. So this has been the AJ Fernandez Last Call in Habano. Uh, it's been a good smoke so far. A good peppery, black pepper type tingle coming in pretty heavy towards the last third of this as well. Which is kind of a nice addition to the flavors. Anyway, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, we'll see you all then.